Hmm, my favorite thing to draw. I have two answers. Um, the first answer is anything from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love TMNT. It's like my favorite thing. I grew up watching the Ninja Turtles cartoons and the movies. So anytime I get to draw characters from that universe is always real a, a real treat for me. And the second thing I like to draw is my own character. His name is Thump. He's a heart who has a little piece of himself missing. Uh, he's one of the main characters in my children's book entitled Heart. And I have since uh, done two more books with him. Uh, one called First Date. And the other book was called Couch, which was a digital release that I put up on my Patreon. And it's about Thump and his girlfriend, LB, moving in together and buying a couch. So those are my two favorite things to draw. Uh, I don't think I have a least favorite thing to draw. I, I think uh, whenever I get asked to do specific types of drawings, I get nervous. And it's more nerves than anything. It's not that I don't like it. But, you know, sometimes at conventions, I'll get asked to draw my kid as a superhero. Or can you draw a picture of me in my cosplay? And I like doing that. It's just I think I get nervous because I want to make sure that I get the likeness right without having to sacrifice my style. Sometimes when you draw characters or do caricatures or likenesses, sometimes it looks too realistic. And I think people want uh, drawings of them or of their kids like in your style, which is why they request it because they like how you draw. So I, I don't have a least favorite thing, but I have things um, that when I'm asked to draw, I get nervous about. Did I always like drawing? Yes, absolutely. I've been drawing since I was a kid. My brother is a, was a very good artist. Um, he has since moved on to doing graphic design work. So he works a lot more with computers and uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. And my dad was pretty good with a pencil too. So drawing has always been in my life. I would always copy the uh, illustrations in this magazine that I used to get when I was a kid called Disney Adventures. And it was like a little uh, reader's digest almost of all Disney stuff. And um, I would take those to school and I would be looking at that instead of my math homework. <laughs> So yeah, I was I, I love drawing. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. So whenever I hit a creative slump and you know you get frustrated with with making art or the art that you're making is uh something that you're you're not liking at the moment, um I tend to walk away for a little bit, you know, clear my head, and then I just absorb stuff. I become a sponge. So what happens is I'll either like play some video games to take my mind off of it or uh, I'll watch a bunch of movies or um, animation or read a bunch of comics and really like just absorb everything about the medium. So if it's movies, I'm paying attention to like costumes and, and set design and the way the camera moves. And if it's comics, I'm paying attention to all the panels and the layouts and, and everything in between. And it's just a way to get excited about making something again by absorbing other people's content. And then the other thing I like to do is I like to, to consult or or talk with my art friends. Um, it's, it's very important to have like a really core group of friends that you can uh, talk to about anything, especially if they're also artists. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sort of vent my problems to them or, or, or they'll come up with solutions on, on how to get past the creative slump or the writer's block or the artist's block. And so I, doing that um, really helps me get out of the funk. Um, it's, it's good to have friends that, because they also understand how you feel. And at times, you know, 
hopefully you're there for them in a big way um, as you would uh, want them to be there for you. Is there a style that I would I would like to try? Um, honestly, I've never tried acrylic painting. I've never painted on canvas before, and I think that would be really fun to do, really fun to experiment with. You know, when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of Bob Ross videos, and I was so amazed at how he painted and his pr thought process and his creative process about the happy little trees and uh that to me when i was a kid that just was like magic i was like wow this is amazing and then as i got older as i got older i never thought to actually try it myself so i think painting would probably be my answer and maybe i'll try it uh this winter or something so be on the lookout for that <laughs> so i want to thank you for sending me these fan questions i really enjoyed answering them and I hope you found something of value out of my answers. And I, I really hope you like the drawing lessons. So until we can do this again, hopefully face to face uh, in the near future, um, I want you to enjoy the rest of Comics Fest online and stay safe, practice your social distancing, wear a mask and be kind. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Bye.